Hey, what's up? I'm Frank Bello. And I'm Scott Ian, and we're from Anthrax. And we would love you to go check out our new record, Worship Music, out Tuesday, September 13th. It feels great. It's super satisfying to finally, you know, be putting this record out after, uh, like almost four years of work and and uh, uh, you know a little, some a little bit of a roller coaster to get to the uh, get to the end point, but uh, you know we're better now. For, for put it this way, if if it meant if it meant coming out with a record this good every time, I would have no problem like going through the same crap we went through to you know. That's a good line. If you could get a record like that. that's this great every time, I mean, I'd like to think that it wasn't all the bull that. Uh, uh, made it this way but a lot of it is because we lived it and going through a lot of the stuff we had to go through to get to the end point of this record is on the record this has been a long time and long time coming we're ready I mean there's a lot going on there's a nice buzz thankfully about this record and, and the band again and we're all ready to go man yeah I mean I just think the record speaks for itself like uh, my my biggest hope besides all the other media and stuff going on around the record and all the interviews we we've been doing is like my biggest hope would be people just start listening to it and just start telling their friends about it and just saying hey I, have you heard the new anthrax record because it, to me it's that kind of a record it's mm. that good it's like one of those records that comes along every x amount of years that i just think has something really special and it's not just because i'm in the band but I've been listening to this record like a fan because I haven't heard Joey sing on an Anthrax record since Persistence of Time, you know, 20 years ago. And uh, so I still listen to this record at this point like a fan because it's something so new to me, yet at the same time, so classic Anthrax. And uh, I just think when people hear this, I think it's going to kind of blow their minds. And it's a record that should be just listened to and, you know, and, uh, and talked about quite a bit. That's how this music was really started, you know, the, I mean, word of mouth. There was no radio play ever for us, so, uh, and this kind of music, so word of mouth was everything. So we, we hope it is that kind of record that people just tell your friends about. The idea for Fight Until You Can is basically, to me, it's just who we are as people. The actual title idea came from a Balsar Galactica uh, the new reboot of Battlestar Galactica. It actually came from that. And uh, it's just the attitude, I think, that we've all had in this band since the beginning, which is basically fight until you can't. It's it's never been an easy road playing this kind of music. We've had to fight for everything we've ever gotten or ever done in this band. So, I, I you know, there is that metaphor in there as well, besides shooting zombies in the head. Yeah. Up till now. I mean, even at this point, we're still fighting for everything we have and to keep it going and just to... The whole new record just to get it out and it's still a fight but you could pretty much um you could pretty much uh, what's the word compare shooting zombies into the head to our experiences in the record business for the mm -hmm. last let's say 25 years too there's plenty of record executives who are pretty much zombie-esque who i would have loved to have shot in the head <laughs> metaphorically <laughs> no not metaphorically <laughs> Actually, I have to say this legal term. Actually, wise. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying <laughs> that's plenty, next. That's what I'm worried plenty about. of. <laughs> I guess the second biggest thing is this Yankee Stadium show we're playing on Wednesday. So with Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, and Anthrax. So the big four at Yankee Stadium on Wednesday. Come out early. Come on up. Things have gotten better for us since 9/11. You figure, <laughs> ten years ago, ten years ago we were being asked if we we're going to change our name, and some people were telling us to change our name. And here we are, ten years later, and now we have Anthrax Day in the Bronx. They, it's really cool. They framed it and everything for us. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. I guess maybe if I'm ever driving around the Bronx, I'll make sure I'll keep that in the car with me. So if I get Cop pulled stops. over, <laughs> hey, get out and of your wallet. Like, that was only good on September 14th. <laughs> I grew up in the Bronx, never played there, but this is my first Bronx show. That is so stupid to hear. When you think about that, Anthrax is playing Yankee Stadium Wednesday. Yeah, think about that. That's isn't that ridiculous? It, but in a great way. 